It's the best chicken nugget I've ever had. It's the best chicken nugget you've it's ever had? Like, it's got cream cheese. Don't tell Stephen. That was canned chicken, what? It sure was. Can you believe Did that you that's canned that chicken? Can They're both in shock. I think it might be my favorite chicken salad I've yeah, ever this made. Is this good. is a good day, y'all. Good day. I have done one or two videos about this particular topic in the past, and you guys seem to love it, so I'm bringing it back. I've got some canned chicken breast, and I'm gonna bring you four new recipes using canned chicken. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. If you're in a hurry, canned chicken is where it's at. It's already portioned out, it's already cooked, it's ready to go. So today it is 12.35, and I'm about to make us some lunch, and this is a really quick and easy lunch idea. We are gonna call these Pesto Caesar Chicken Wraps, and I am taking a huge help with this. It is a pesto Caesar salad mix. So I've got this, I've got my canned chicken, and then I've got these carb balance spinach wraps. I really do enjoy these. So lunch is gonna be like that. Did I just hear a cricket? Steven and Cole have killed sprickets lately, which if you don't know what a spricket is, it's a spider slash cricket. It's just a cricket, but it looks like a spider and it hops. They're gnarly looking. Ugh. Anyway, we've had a couple of them and I swear I just heard one. Okay, I'm moving on. So we need to drain this chicken really well. Let's toss our salad together. There is barely, there's never enough Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmesan cheese because I have some on hand. So I'm gonna throw this in there and then I'm gonna add a little bit more too because I love Parmesan. But that's personal preference. Let's add in some little croutons. It's like she knew I was talking about Parmesan cheese. Grace, you gonna talk? Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna grate a little more Parmesan cheese on. It's happening, you'll hear her. Here, I'm gonna break up some of this chicken. Sometimes they're in really large chunks. Let's add our chicken in. Let's toss before we throw our Caesar, pesto Caesar dressing on. And then we're just gonna throw these in a wrap. Talk about an easy dinner idea, lunch idea. It doesn't get much easier than that. It's just opening up some packages and throwing them together. Oh, that smells very good. Now that we have all of our dressing in there, I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. That's personal preference. I really do like these wraps. I don't know if you've ever tried them before. I'm not too, big on worrying about how many carbs are in it, but I do like this Carb Balance brand. I say that and it's getting stuck together. Come on, there we go. Kind of messed it up, I think. That's all right. I wish I had some tomato. I keep forgetting get to get tomatoes at the grocery store because I was so used to us having them in our garden, but our garden is done. It is the fall. Let's cut this in half. And there you have it, friends. This is a very quick five minute recipe that is perfect for lunch or dinner. You can just pair it with a, just about anything. I'm gonna grab some chips and this is our lunch today. What you got? Oh yeah. Be careful, oh, it, it'll fall yours out. Yours better than my half. Well, you can grab this half. <laughs> oh, he, he took me up on that. He took my half. I did. We have blessed the food. Now we're about to bless our mouths and our taste buds with some yumminess. Wow. It's good. That pesto mm. Caesar dressing, mm -hmm. that's next level. That is really good. Mm -hmm. I love Caesar dressing. It's like my favorite dressing of mm -hmm. all time. But then a the little extra pesto, that's very interesting. It's good. I love that. Mm -hmm. So if you can't find that particular salad mix, the pesto Caesar, add a spoonful of pesto into your Caesar dressing wow. and mix it around. I was just saying it's funny because I don't know which one I want more of, the Caesar or the pesto. You get both. They're so, so good, they get both. You're just like, ooh, you get some of the Caesar and you're like, ah, and then you get some of the pesto and you're like, oh, I want some of that. It's great. He's very descriptive today. <laughs> All right, I'm making him another wrap for him to take. Oh, that's a big one there. That's one of them, <laughs> that's one of them fall apart ones. Yeah, you have to hold it. Like you have to hold it. You have to babysit that one. You gotta do the, you gotta do this number, you gotta go. <laughs> hello, hello. I am working on lunch for us today using canned chicken. I am gonna be using about two cans 
of the chicken. And just so you know, the cans that I have are 12.5 ounces. I buy, I think it's six in a pack at Sam's Club, but I'm using two of them today because I do want this to stretch a little bit so that we can have this for lunch for a couple of days. Today we are making a chicken salad, but not just any chicken salad, friends. This is a jalapeno popper chicken salad. It's got bacon, it's got jalapenos, it's got cheese. It's got cream cheese. Don't tell Stephen. So the recipe called for green onions and I totally forgot to get some at the store. So we're using red onion in place of it. It doesn't really matter. And then it also calls for three jalapenos, but we need to seed them. And I am putting on my gloves for that so that I don't seed these with bare hands and then touch my eyes and regret my decision all day long. These are um, jalapenos from our garden that I froze. I've never tried using them before, so hopefully they're good. I just thawed them out really quickly and I'm gonna scrape these seeds out. They feel kind of watery. Let me know what's the trick to freezing jalapenos. I mean, I've already frozen all of them, so at this point, if I did it wrong, I did it wrong, but they feel kind of watery. Good thing is they're gonna be mixed in with everything, so, and they're gonna be diced really small. So I don't think it'll matter. We need about a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Okay, I got our secret ingredient out <clears throat> and I read the recipe like four times because I am scarred because Steven already doesn't like this ingredient. And one time I added a whole block in when I was only supposed to add in two ounces. It was a thing, y'all, it was a thing. So it calls for four ounces, so a half a block of that. Um, I grabbed the mayo out, good news, mayo smells normal again to me. If you've been around for a minute, we got sick. And um, after the sickness, things smelled very strange and tasted very strange, but that only lasted for four or five days. So we're back to being normal, but Everything is prepped and ready, let's assemble. The recipe calls for four cups of chicken and this is only three cups, I just realized. So, I might actually go less on this right here, just so it doesn't overpower anything and I don't have an unhappy camper. It does say that you need shredded chicken, so I'm gonna shred this up a little bit instead of having it in chunks. I drained the chicken really well and this recipe does call for some salt and pepper. I'll probably just add pepper because I didn't rinse the chicken and it has enough salt as a preservative, I guess, already in there that you don't need to add extra. At least that's been my opinion. Now let's add in our jalapeno. Ooh, let me rinse my hands. You would also add in five sliced green onions at this point. I'm adding in our red onion that I diced, our one cup of shredded cheddar cheese, and bacon, baby. It says to crumble it. Mine is still kind of hot. I'm gonna chop mine up, I'll be right back. Okay, it calls for 10 slices of bacon, but my bacon is extra thick bacon. So I'm gonna go with this first, and then if I feel like I need to add the other four slices, I will. Okay, let's mix all of this together. Now we're gonna add in our mayo. You need about a half a cup. I'm just gonna eyeball this, okay? And you add in your secret ingredient. Okay, that's all I'm going with. So I'm leaving a little bit, so it's not quite half. And then it says salt and pepper to taste. So let me grab pepper. If I need to add more mayo or anything, I always can do that afterwards, but we're gonna start here. I don't want there to be any chunks of the secret ingredient because that'll be the, that'll be the first bite he gets. And then I'm gonna add a little more mayo. I love to serve these on um, croissants that I get from like the bakery at the grocery store, but mine only had the mini croissants. So this time we're gonna do pita pockets. You can do it on a wrap too, like those spinach wraps that I used for the pesto Caesar chicken wraps and see what I think. It definitely has the heat from the jalapeno. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I was wondering if I, it had enough heat. It does, just so you know. So if, if you like a lot of heat, get red jalapenos. I'm just gonna eat this piece of bacon and I'll be right back. Oh, my battery is about to die. Hang on. Oh, one piece of power. <laughs> we are back with full power. Yeah, this looks great. It's like a little pocket. Uh-huh, it's a little pita pocket. A little pita pocket. Tink. Tink. Tinky winky. <laughs> That's amazing. Spicy bacon, chicken, cheese, onions. I like it cold too. 
Mm. Man, there's just a lot of really good ingredients in there. Is that mayonnaise too? Mm -hmm. a little Duke's mayonnaise. Yeah, that? a little mayonnaise. Mm. A little uh, cream cheese. Mm. Did you hear me? What? What's up, cream cheese? Cream cheese. Why do you need to put cream cheese in there? Because it's a jalapeno popper recipe. Oh, okay. That helps yeah. kind of tone down the, the jalapeno. I don't really get the cream cheese. I would There's never not a ton. Have, it's not a whole block. Yeah, I would never have guessed that. I don't taste it. We did good, friends. I don't taste it, which is why it's good. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I think it might be my favorite chicken salad I've yeah, ever this made. This is definitely one of the best. I mean, I can't think of. I've ever had a chicken salad that has as many ingredients as this one has. Right. And has so, so much of a punchy flavor. I mean, I guess I'd have to give it first place. Mm -hmm. I mean, And if this chicken salad is not your style, I have a whole video on just chicken salads, so I will try and link that below. And they were all mm. great. I wouldn't have put them in a video if they weren't, but I think this beats them That's all. That's really good. Now, is that the red jalapeno pepper that you... Mm-hmm. Okay. From our garden that I yeah. froze. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is dinner time. I am here at the house alone. I'm gonna be making a smaller portion than the original recipe. Of course, I will leave the recipe linked below so that if you want to make the full portion, you can. But tonight with our canned chicken, we are having barbecue ranch chicken casserole. It sounds really easy and really yummy. Let's preheat the oven to 350. I am also gonna start heating this water up and We'll wait for that to come to a boil because we will need to cook our noodles separately and then add it all together. So let's let that come up to a boil. I need to open these cans. I'm gonna be using about half of this can. I'm just gonna freeze the other half. Same with this. I think that's always my hesitation in cutting things in half is that I don't wanna waste, but I don't have to waste. I can freeze the other half. And then I'm pretty much just gonna use this whole can of green chilies, but let's get all of these open. So I drained this. We don't need to drain the Rotel. And then we've got our green chilies. I'm not gonna drain that either. Okay, and now we need to measure out our dressing. So I've got, well, ranch dressing and then our barbecue sauce. I'm just gonna measure it together here in this um, same thing because it's all going in together. I need about a half a cup of ranch dressing. And then I'm gonna be trying, I've never tried this before. This is the Tennessee Smoke and Whiskey Barbecue. I also got a couple of the other kinds to try, the Carolina kinds, the Carolina Gold and then the Carolina Vinegar, I think. But we're gonna try the Tennessee one today. And we need about a third a cup of this. That's all we need there. Doesn't that look appetizing? So appetizing, you're welcome. Another thing I did was drain this chicken. We just need one can of chicken for the amount that I'm making tonight. Um, I drained it and then I also rinsed it in water to, to get a little extra sodium out of there because I feel like we're gonna have plenty of seasonings with the ranch and the uh, barbecue, so I just didn't want it to be too salty. Our water is coming up to a boil. I know, there's cheese over there. I haven't given you any yet, have I? We only need about six ounces of pasta for the amount that I'm making, so that's a little less than half of this box, ma'am. And we're gonna let that cook to al dente, so probably like seven minutes or so. I don't know, we're just gonna, we're gonna go with seven. Seven seems like a good number. Okay, it took about nine minutes, but our pasta is done. I'm gonna drain this. First things first. Go, we're going to add our drained pasta to this large bowl, and we're gonna add everything else in here with it. So I've got my can of chicken. Obviously, any of these recipes, can you can make your own chicken. You don't have to use canned. We're just finding some recipes when you're in a, in a pinch. You don't wanna to have to cook the chicken, canned comes in handy. All right, let's dump in our green chilies. About half of this corn, about half of this rotel, and I'm adding some of the juice in there too. It calls for minced onions, so I'm gonna just put a little onion powder in here because I don't, I don't keep minced onions on hand. Okay, you can definitely cook bacon, but it does mention in this um, recipe that if you used bacon bits, like real bacon pieces, not the fake stuff. But you need about a quarter cup. You need about a little over a cup of cheese. And I'm gonna reserve some for the top too. And then of course our sauces that look so appetizing. Let's just mix all of this together. Let me go grab a casserole dish. Because it's not a very large amount, I think I can use this oval baker. 
This um, came from Sam's Club in a three pack several years ago. I haven't seen it since, but I love it. Sprayed it with a little bit of olive oil spray. Now I'm just gonna dump this in here. I'm gonna spread that out and then I'm just gonna top it with the remaining cheese, which is not a ton of it. Oh, that was the perfect amount for this little baker. I don't use this baker, this size baking dish often. So this is going in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes. It's not gonna take long. Everything is already cooked. We're just heating it through. And this is real life, y'all. Y'all probably hear the dryer and the washer going on in the background. The perks of filming in your kitchen, which is right next to your laundry closet. <laughs> Let's dig in. I'm gonna actually let this cool for just a second. Then we're gonna dig in. It's just me here doing the taste test. The guys will try this a little later. I'm gonna just be really honest. I like this, but I feel like it's lacking something and I can't quite figure out what that something is. I like the taste of the ranch and the barbecue together. That makes total sense. So it's smooth, but it also has a little tang to it. This is where I'm coming to you guys. If you feel like you have experience as a cook, or even if you don't, but you have an idea of what you would add to this, let me know. I'm thinking maybe some black beans or something. I feel like I'm missing an ingredient. And you know, it's me here. I could be missing an ingredient. Let's look at, let's look. No, I'm not missing an ingredient. I'm gonna add some Cholula to it. Because I feel like that might be what I'm missing. I feel like I want something a little spicier. See if that makes a difference. That's what it needed. I needed that little extra kick. Now it's delicious. Today we are making, I'm making just a small batch of these just because I'm nervous. And I'm also not gonna make them in the regular oven. I'm gonna do them in the air fryer. So these are gonna be air fryer chicken nuggets, but we're making them with canned chicken. They've got some good ingredients. We need some grated Parmesan cheese for this. So I'm gonna use my little microplaner to get the finest grate on this. And I've got some more um, Parmesan cheese in the fridge if I need to get that out, but we need about three tablespoons. This will be plenty, so there we go. Okay, now what we need to do is open our canned chicken. We're gonna drain it, and then I'm going to pour it through here and squeeze any excess moisture out of it that I can. Um, we don't want these to be liquidy, obviously, so. Let me go drain this and work on that. So this was a 12.5 ounce can of chicken which is what the recipe calls for. I squeezed out as much of that excess moisture that I could. We're gonna add in one egg, about a third a cup of mozzarella, and we need about three tablespoons of grated Parmesan. One, two, I think that was about right. Three. And then at this point, you can add any seasoning you'd like. Don't add salt, because you've got a lot of salt in that chicken already. So I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder, maybe a teaspoon, some black pepper, and just a little bit of smoked paprika. It'll give it a good smoky flavor. Maybe a half a teaspoon, maybe not even that much. So I'll have to use my hands in just a minute, but to get it going, I'm going to use a fork. All right, I think that's pretty good. Now, this is supposed to make 12 chicken nuggets. So I need to form all of these and put them on a little plate. So let me do that. Excuse me, pardon me. They were in the way. That's okay. <laughs> so you just kind of form it. Oh, I'm not even showing y'all. Kind of form it into the shape of a chicken nugget. We did it. 12 chicken nuggets. Okay, let me grab the air fryer. I'm going to preheat mine. I'm gonna say to 375, but we'll do 370. So let's let it do its thing. Our air fryer has preheated. Let's spritz it down with a little bit of oil so it doesn't stick. And now I need to very carefully put these chicken nuggets in here. They are stuck together, but not the best. Like this one feels like it's gonna fall apart. So I'm patting and like repatting it together. So I'm, I'm very skeptical. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm skeptical. But I'm gonna put them back in the air fryer. I think I said back in the air fryer. We're putting them in the air fryer. We're gonna try at 370. I'm gonna try six minutes to start. And then we'll go from there. Wish me luck. Okay, it's been six minutes. We'll see. Okay. I mean, I ain't mad at that. One of my subscribers sent me these little small tools and i love this thing especially for getting into small spaces like this so 
Let's see if I can get it out without crumbling it. Okay. That ain't bad. I had my doubts. You know, they've got, they've got egg in them, so I'm a little, I'm a little weary. But I feel like they're done. They're pretty substantial. Okay, substantial. Is that the right word? I don't care. I don't care if it is. That's what we're going with. I'm going to use some Zach sauce for dipping. If you don't have a Zaxby's near you, I'm sorry. It's the best. Anyway, we keep extra Zach sauces here just in case. Just in case we ever um, make chicken nuggets here at home. And usually when I do chicken nuggets here at home, it's just the frozen kind. But, I mean, it looks like a little chicken nug, right? I made some little chicken nugs. Y'all want to try it? I want to try it. Okay, I got a whole family over here, y'all. You going you gonna to pop in here, too? I'm going to pop in real quick. Okay. Hi. Okay, a little crisp on the outside. Okay. Crisp. I got us some Zach sauce to dip it in. Mmm. -hmm. Smelling good. There we go. You Fingers did. have burnt off. My fingers have burnt off. <laughs> That's quite pleasant. <laughs> Not wow. That's quite pleasant. That's good. I don't know what this Careful is. Careful now, it'll, it'll break. It's you like can... a cheesy mm -hmm. little bit of crunch. Not too big of a crunch. Just a little texture. Mm hmm. Look at that hair. Bear. He just, he just got out of the shower, it's wet. I ain't had one, y'all just keep taking them all. Look. How many did you make? 12. I'd like to have one out of the batch. Y'all can have the rest of them, but I'm gonna have one. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, one's acceptable. Okay, thanks. Gracie said, wow! Did mommy forget to give you cheese? Hey, unacceptable. Mozzarella cheese, y'all, it's still sitting out. It's good. Here you go. You did a good job. Well, thanks, can I take a bite? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Mm -hmm. Not bad, is it? I like the cheese mm -hmm. in that. It's the best chicken nugget I've ever had. It's the best chicken nugget you've it's ever like, had? It's yes. like one of the best chicken nuggets I, I, would have, I would have to say. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is better than anything you get out of the freezer. This is the way forward. I was this close to calling it like calling so, it a day when I was making these because I just did not have faith. But these two were telling me they are the best chicken the nuggets they've thing. ever had. Okay, hang on. Is that right? The thinness of them. Yeah. I mean, it won't do it. They can Come tell. Here. They can tell. I cannot believe they like this so much. It's really, really good. Air fryer. Three, what did I do? 370 at six minutes. I don't know, but this Perfection. Air, air fryer keeps on delivering. I'm telling you mm -hmm. what. Okay, well, we're ending this video with the best recipe of them all, apparently. I cannot believe that they're so happy. <laughs> That's good. I gotta fix your hair. I'm gonna fix my hair. I'm your mama. That's what I do. Oh, I just noticed. That was canned chicken, wasn't it? It sure was. I did not know that until I looked over here and saw. It's canned it's chicken. Man. Can you believe did that you that's canned that chicken? Did you know that was canned chicken? They're both in shock. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty This cool. is a good day, y'all. Good day. I really hope that you guys were inspired by what we made today, what she made today. Once you hit that like button down there, that really helps out the channel. And consider subscribing. Helps out the channel too. Well, and it'll help you out. You'll see my yeah. content. You won't miss anything. Stuff will pop up. That's right. Good job. You want to tell Great them bye? Great job. <laughs> bye.